Hello guys, hi this is Ganesh Naik, I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves and I also help students preparing for FRM and CFA exam. Now the FRM level 1 2023 exam changed, the content changes out and you guys might have read about it through some PDF files, some online discussion. Okay, so broadly there are two chapters which are being added, two new chapters being added in your book too. Okay, the machine learning methods and machine learning and prediction. Okay, uh, one chapter is very theoretical, second chapter is some component of calculation. Apart from that, there are uh, two, three chapters primarily from your uh, book to Quant, where a learning objective has changed. Okay, it's not a major change, it is just a learning objective. So, linear regression, uh, multiple regression chapter, then there is measuring volatility and correlation chapter. One, one learning objective has been changed. It's not a major change. Apart from that, there is a chapter on option Greek. Previously, there was a, a delta hedging in detail along with option forward and futures, but now it has only been restricted to option. It is also a minor change in the content. Now, what is the good news about this change? First of all, there is no major change apart from the two new chapters being added. So, you can refer to 2022 books to prepare for the exam. And then whatever is a change, you can just go through that change later. Why? Because the books, the Kaplan's Wager books, primarily in your bookstores would not be available bit by Feb mid or Feb end. That is a normal trend. So what is going to happen? If you wait for the new book, you would have ended up wasted a lot of time. It is better because there is less change. You can focus on reading from 2022 books, start the process and whatever is a change, you just relook the change again in the month of March and then prepare for the exam. So the good news is that since there is less change, you can refer to the 2022 books and go ahead and give the exam properly. Okay, so there is nothing to panic. It's a very basic small change. Machine learning correlated chapters being added with the intention to give you the flavor because this is also there in level 2. So from that perspective, they have given you the flavor to understand the basics of those chapters because industry now demands people to have some technical understanding or basics of machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep learning in their preparatory method itself. That is why these chapters have been added. So overall, I hope this change is going to be good for the exam preparation also. A lot of people will be able to prepare properly and go for the exam. So start in 2022 and then look for the change in the 2023 curriculum later on. So thank you very much for this, for attending the video. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel, share it to your friends and people who are preparing for the exam. Thank you very much.